Good morning everyone, welcome to another video. Today is the 8th of November already and I am going to take you guys with me to the gym. I am super motivated actually because as you can see, sun is shining, blue sky. Ah. <laughs> no, but really if I wake up and the sun is shining and I see blue sky, my mood is immediately like, I don't know, a flower or something? <laughs> no, but um, those last two weeks since um, we turned into winter hour, I don't know how to say, uh, but like, you know, we turn the time and it's uh, one hour earlier right now. So actually when you wake up, it's dark. When you go, when it's like 5 p.m., it's already dark again. So, you know, the days are so short and those are, I, I wouldn't say it's a little bit depressive, but... It has a big influence on my mood and actually I know this may not influence or I may not let this influence my mood but I think this is just you know I think everybody will understand uh, yeah this situation but you know I'm not the only person that needs to go through this Everybody actually needs to survive the winter again and actually it has its charms as well But besides that I'm going to take you guys with me to the gym um, I am going to show you guys my three favorite supersets for glues that are actually a real game changer um, Supersets are super nice to yeah to spice your routine a little bit up make it more intensive make the burn a little bit more intensive as well so yeah that is what we are going to do today i am going to show you guys which outfit i am wearing to go to the gym so for sure i'm wearing body engineers this is one of uh, one of their um you know basic um sport bras one of the first collections but it's actually one still one of my favorites um and actually, you know, the color white and gray fits with everything, of course. This is the infinity legging. It's a high waist legging. And actually, I don't know if you can see it as there is a lot of shadow on it. But, like, really, the fabric is amazing. Like, you know, this is the basic infinity legging. So it's not fully until the end, but like seven eighths. So, and it's currently on sale, so, but I will put my uh, link in the description box, so if you want to do a little shopping, for sure, you can use that link. So, let's go to the gym! Alright guys, so I am going to start with my first super set, which is a barbell back squat. Now, as you will see, it's not going to be a regular back squat, because I don't want to reach a 90 degree step. Now, the reason being is because the lower you go, the more you will target your quads. And I want to make sure that I keep the focus on our glutes. Yes, we want to keep the focus on our glutes. So, I will keep my feet pretty close, like let's say a little smaller than uh, shoulder wide stance. Keep attention to do this exercise very controlled and slowly and focus on a slow negative movement and fast positives with a little squeeze at the top, but don't overdo, you know. <laughs> And I am going to superset this exercise with band monster walks. Um, I really love this exercise, but I think this is an exercise that you just have to do in superset with a heavier exercise, if you know what I mean. Like for example, a compound exercise. Um, yeah, so for this exercise, I want you to focus like it's a little bit the same as on the a previous exercise so I don't want you to go too low because the lower you go like if if you are going to be any really squat position you will feel that if you do 10 steps you will feel like a really big burn in your quads and again we don't want to create a burn in the quads but in our glutes just go a little low not too much but a little bend in your knees push your glutes backwards and then just take some little steps for our second superset, we will again start with a compound movement. So this 
is the sumo deadlift so first of all we will have a look on our starting position so as you can see i put my feet really wide so with my toes a little bit pointed outwards and i want you to grab the bar upper hand for this exercise and then i want you to pull the weight up squeeze your glutes at the top and for the negative movement you will see i perform this in two steps um, first step is I bend a little forward with my upper body to create a kind of deadlift movement and after I bring my glutes down. So two important things during this entire exercise guys is to always push your knees outwards. Always keep this in mind. Uh, push through your heels as well and also keep the bar as close to your body. And we are gonna superset this exercise with good mornings. I know this is a very difficult exercise to perform correctly. So it's really important to not go very heavy on this exercise, especially if it's the first time that you perform this exercise. So really keep this in mind. Um, weight doesn't really matter. It's your execution and performance of this exercise. So as you can see, I put my feet in a shoulder wide position uh, with my toes pointed forward. Second, I want you to push your glutes backwards. Keep a little bend in your knee and go as deep as you can. But truly really, guys, if you feel like you can't, you can't manage to go very deep, no problem. Um, it's something that you have to build up. So as you can see, I can go very low because I'm just used to do this movement. Um, but as you can see as well, my back is always straight doing this, the entire exercise. And that is the main focus. Okay, so we already arrived at the last superset, which I am going to start off with a compound movement again. Because compound movement, as I told you before, it's, you know, it's super important because that is the main reason why your glutes will grow. So it's the master of all glutes exercises, of course, it's the hip thrust, guys. So I know there are several ways to perform this exercise, but I am here showing you how I do it and how it feels amazing for me. So to perform this exercise, you just need a bench, a barbell and something to protect your hips. For example, I use a yoga mat. I like to keep half of my back on the bench to lay down uh, because for me personally, I prefer to lay down a little more stable and I place my feet in the shoulder width position with my toes pointed a little outwards, but not too much forward. Of course, you will feel your hamstrings work a little as well, but it may not dominate, of course. So try to focus on a full range of motion, slow negatives, fast positives and a good squeeze at the top. And we are gonna superset this with our second exercise, which is the abductor. Of course, it's again a really good glute builder and absolutely something that will make your glutes on fire if you do it the right way. So important for this exercise, guys, is to keep your back against the back seat. We are gonna start off with putting some heavy weights on and I want you to focus on a full range of motion. So you open your legs as far as you can. Um, make sure to not bend over with your upper body. So keep your back against the seat. Yeah, we are gonna do fast positives, fast negatives and really make your glutes work. After we are going to lower the weight and squeeze out the last reps until our booty is, you know, totally on fire. For this set, it's allowed to bend a little forward with your upper body right now. And the reason behind this is uh, when you bend over a little forward, you will feel that you will work a little different on your glutes you will work more on the gluteus maximus whilst when you keep your back against the seat you will feel that you will work more on the minimus and the medius of your glutes so that is a little trick i use so yeah give it a go and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you liked it if you have any other recommendations for any other future videos please let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video of course a little like thank you